Do you enjoy reaction content and want to create your own but don't know where to start? Introducing Reaction Content Creation 101, a comprehensive course designed just for you. In this course, you'll learn everything you need to know to become a successful reaction content creator. Here's what you'll get. Understanding reaction content. Learn what reaction content is and why it's so popular. Creating high quality videos. Mastering the editing process to make your videos engaging and professional. Eye catching thumbnails. Discover the secrets to creating thumbnails that attract viewers. Optimizing your YouTube presence. Learn how to post your videos effectively and grow your audience. Monetization strategies. Find out how to turn your passion into profit by monetizing your reaction videos. By the end of this course, you'll have the skills and knowledge to create and share your reaction videos with confidence. Whether you're a complete beginner or looking to improve your content, this course is the perfect entry point to the world of reaction videos. Sign up today and start your journey to becoming a reaction content creator. Hey YouTube, this is Terrell with Big Time Nights here for Angel, Season 4, Episode 11. And yeah, Angelus is back, so I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to uh, just dig into this. Uh, so make sure to like the video, uh, comment what you think about this episode, and subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, here we go. <laughs> Connor always does work to like regular people, <laughs> and vampires, I guess, but against like any main person, he, he just keeps getting wrecked or Angel. He gets wrecked against Angel a lot. It makes sense, but I don't know, like Connor grew up in the, in the hell, you know, realm. So he's, he should be very experienced, but Angel, Angel got years on him still. Taurus. <laughs> this might be a little too much for you. Oh, they're gonna cut out, cut away. Seeing Angel Soul floating like. I wonder if they break that if Angel Soul were to return immediately. I mean, that would be useful. You're gonna lock it? Don't drop it. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Maybe if they lose it, then his soul is just gone. Yeah. The way they're treating it right now. Watch the monitor when I go down. Pay attention to everything he does, everything he says. He'll try to confuse you, to play on your emotions so you drop your guard. If he succeeds, even for an instant, we're all dead. I spent my life training. Connor couldn't stick around for this kind of talk. I feel like he needs it too. He'll exploit everything Angel knows about me and go for the jugular. Whatever he's got, I'm not gonna see it coming. If you go into the Is the priest that did this going to just like stick around? Did he already just take a plane ride home? <laughs> You would think airlines would be shut down though, with uh, the sundown and everything going on. I'm jealous. Man, each one of the characters are gonna get like some one-on-one -on -one time with Angel or Angelus, I think. It's gonna be great. Years of study, research. I've read everything ever written about you. Stop. I'm blushing. To be one on one with the legendary Angelus. What if the demon like came and charged them while and while while this was happening and broke Angelus out? Like you won't be able to stop either of them. Let me all relax. Not the most they'll they'll form like the the tag team finally. Okay, I'll play. Is it a game? Hey. Open books. Anything you wanna know. How sweet that virgin gypsy tasted. Special smell of a newborn's neck. My first night. Now that's a great story. I thought he said something else. Because I'm not going to say it. 
<laughs> he fought the beast in the fantasy. Real candy ass. The beast. Angel. Not enough to be the hero. Couldn't be happy unless the whole gang's pitching in. So he killed the beast in his fantasy. Had to. To get what he wanted. We all want something, Wes. It's the way of the world. Everybody's got an agenda. And you're going to tell me mine. Yeah, Connor was too good in that fantasy. Like, he was all smiling and forgave him. I actually like that version of Connor. You want to impress the girl. Moving. Get her to love you. After a couple days of flowers and chocolate covered cherries. Uh, you'll bend her over the kitchen counter. And that's supposed to rattle me. Kind of bony for my taste, but different strokes. The beast called you an adversary. But he loves to rub that shiny bald head against her soul. Oh, they're hearing all of this. Oh, god damn. Not like your school girl crush is a secret. <sighs> <laughs> this is so bad. We can't believe anything Angela says. I want the stuff that's true. Charles, come on. Yeah, don't, don't let him get to you, Kiwi. He's not the only one that's getting. Charles. I know. I know. It's just words. Mm. Mm. There might be some truth to that, especially for Wesley. Anyone ever called you a champion? I do my part. Right. Like letting Lila suck Lauren's brain. Or here's an oldie but a goodie. Faith. Good job being her watcher. I miss Faith. I wish we were in the show more. Let's talk about Cordy. Shall we? Now there's a rap to write home about. Too bad about the personality, though. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, God. Oh, Angel. Angel. We can't. I love you, but... You're so bad. You ain't babies. Chicks. Uh, sticks and stones, sweet potato. We don't have to look. No. It, you do have to look. You have to watch this. Little bitty bits of truth. To Is Gun going to turn it off? She thinks worse for us. Stealing my kid like you did. Or banging him. Like Cordelia. Uh, I don't think the others know about that. <laughs> Fire rained in the sky. Uh, Lauren knows. Well, no, that's just ridiculous. And Connor's angel's son, it would be like sleeping with your own... <laughs> uh, she did the deed. Oh my god. He wants blood. I'll get it. Me too. You guys be careful. Angel's gonna say some truth bombs that are gonna hurt. Oh, wait. Testimony wasn't in love with the other guy. So much for stand by your man. Then again, you probably like her on her. Oh, my God. <laughs> so much. Provocative. Get me all riled up. You think that's what your boss would want? You don't have a boss. You might want to tell Wesley that. Ah. Oh. You look all fresh and sweet. But I hear you at night. Oh my god. He does have super hearing. Gun. The things you say. I'm lying there listening. Hands under the covers. I can't help myself. It's no! <laughs> what the fuck? This coming from a guy who can't get any. Ever. You're a pig. Step back. <laughs> I wouldn't shoot him with that arrow. I mean, he'll 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 take it, but he could always pull the arrow out and use it as a weapon of some sort. 
God damn it, Fred. Like get some now. Come on. Okay. Did he hurt you? No. I, I'm sorry. That was so stupid. I, I should have. It's not your fault. Angelus is unpredictable. He'll take any opening, no matter how small. It's understandable, but you played right into his hands. Never drop your weapon. I wish Wesley, like, move on or something, man. I guess you can't really help how you feel, but... And when the other person doesn't really shut it down at all. I, I know Frey can sense that Wesley likes her. But she hasn't, like, turned down his advances at all. Or... He hasn't really advanced, but you know what I mean. The weirdness is because everyone knows. Good. Connor. Angel doesn't care if everyone knows. Why should I? It's not Angel. Anyway, we should get some rest. You don't want to be with me? Fine, you're not. But don't tell me what to do. You're not my mother. Mothers don't screw their kids. Hey. Hey. Angelus when she told me about a sword in Angel's fantasy. I thought... I wanted to thank you. If you hadn't have come in when you did. Fred, we're, we're teammates. Of course I would. Charles heard what Angelus said. The, the stuff about... Me. Yeah. And... How I feel about you. Yes. Which is very sweet. There's nothing wrong with it. Yes, there is. Oh, no! What? Like this? Hey, she's not taking it back. Hey, who's watching? God damn, holy shit. What's going on? Oh, my God. Did he just... <laughs> of course not. Uh... You're right. The monitor. You better tell me what the hell I just walked in. <laughs> we were just... <sighs> Fred, just break up with gun. Leave Fred out of it. You ought to be leaving Fred out of it. Hello, I'm here. You think I don't see the way you look at her? Charles, please. And you. Running off to him every time you need help like I'm not good enough. No, that's not... I don't know, Fred. You've been stringing gun along, though, to be honest. Stay from her. <sighs> and once, like, it's someone else's girl, but... Fred is not doing her part either. That was fast. <laughs> Damn. I owe you nothing. Not anymore. You just take what you want, huh? No matter who it belongs to. I well, Fred doesn't belong to anyone, but everyone's at their wits end right now. Because you, you do such a bang up job without me. Hey, 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 come on, guys. Let's not say anything. Sure. Sure. Great idea, Wes. I hate it when they. Disrespectful to Lauren, man. He's, he's the coolest guy around. It's what you're best at. You want to say that again? God. Face it, God, you can't give her what she needs. Yeah, that's too far, man. Stop it! This is insane. I'm doing exactly what I'm telling you. And Lauren gets hit. Oh my God. Now Fred got hit. Ugh. Don't be like I could take you. You couldn't take the weaker angel. Like the 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 one that didn't even know who he was. Everyone's afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. But doesn't it freak you out that she used to change your diapers? I mean, when you think about it, the first woman you boned yeah. is the closest thing you've ever had to. Honor. Exactly. So weird. The truth is. Angel's just something that you're forced to wear. You're my real father. Mm, that's not true. I'm right here. All you have to do is come and get me. 
You'd like that. You couldn't take me anyway. We'll see. Promises, promises. Don't make them if you can't keep them. People are watching this, right? And they can hear everything that they're saying, right? Cordy. Cordy, Cordy. Just couldn't stay away. It's been a long day. And I think you've done enough damage. This is like a cheap episode to make. Because there's not a lot going on. But it's, the conversations are fire, though. That's what makes it. Like, the build-up to all of this is like... Is, is for the fans. You want to know about the piece? Everything you know. Oh. And in return, I get what? Wouldn't mind a car. I hear the new Mustang is nice. Something better. What's a better ride than a Mustang? Me. Me. <laughs> Also known as the Surveyor, a mystical order, all descendants of a powerful Nordic priestess, Surveya. They've been busy. Anything about the base? Nothing definitive, but this one looks like it can match up. Same region, approximately the same time period. Um, she yeah, she's scared of you now, Gun. I think that relationship. I think this relationship is over. And she didn't pull back on that kiss from uh, Wesley. She was scared of you walking in. <laughs> Fred's just too. She just don't. She won't be upfront about it, about the relationship. Even though signs have been there. What is that? Smell like death? You guys should be familiar with that smell. Yeah. The whole family. We should have seen this coming. Of course the bees can go after the priestesses. Let's have a look around. Then we should call the police. Vanish. The police are probably busy as hell. And they were trying to get rid of the beast. Probably trying to get to their own families. <laughs> Connor. Connor, you should be used to death and all this kind of stuff. Especially where you came from. Dead demons are just a big blob of oozing mess. Vampires turn into dust like they were never anything at all. The humans. I get there's not that many humans in Kortov or wherever he's from. What? I know they tried to do a jump scare there, but it just didn't work. <laughs> Fangelis can't help us. It's time to bring back Angel. Maybe the Slayer? Have you thought about that? <laughs> I just love a woman with nice ripe thighs. <laughs> The more you piss me off, the longer I'll keep you alive. Oh, something tells me she's a screamer. <laughs> she is. It's a scream that will want you to make it stop. <laughs> what? Angel's soul. It's gone. That's the way to end it. <laughs> Another fun episode of Angel, uh, most pretty much all dialogue, uh, but it was great, you know. Uh, we got to see uh, everyone have their little turn at it, and and the uh, Wesley Gun and and uh, <laughs> Fred drama uh, reached the boiling point. Uh, it went over the boiling point, basically. So. That relationship is over now, I think. Uh, is that that would be hard to recover. Uh, Gun ended up hitting Fred accidentally, but still he hit her. Um, and Fred's gotta be like, like, you know how Gun feels, you know how their interactions are. Like, you gotta put something to rest. Like, Wes, no, we're not gonna work. No, I'm with Gun. 
or, or but we know that she wasn't really like that. She kind of gave in to that kiss. And for Wes to just kiss her out of blue like that, like another guy's girl, like that's crazy, man. Another guy who's supposedly your friend, supposed to be your friend, brother. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, and yeah, and they see uh, Connor and Cordelia, like I've been saying, it's like the mom. <laughs> so it makes it extra gross. But <laughs> oh, this show's good. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching Big Time Nice. Make sure to like the video, comment what you think about this episode, and subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, peace.